was in the trenches of Pozieres in August 1916 that a promise was made by Captain Robert Somerville to his fallen comrade, Sergeant Halifax. Never, Never worry, worry, my friend. friend. We'll look after your family. Following this promise, a group of like-minded people thought it essential that there should be some way to ensure that returned servicemen from World War I had somewhere and somehow to be able to transition back into civilian life. With this, Tasmania had assembled the first Remembrance Club. You see, Major General Sir John Gellibrand believed that every good officer should look after his men in times of peace, as in war. This idea took hold and Captain Stanley Savage helped lead the way to establish a club in Melbourne that was similar to the Remembrance Club in Tasmania, that vowed to keep the promise made all those years ago. And with this, a nationwide organisation like no other in the world was born. Caring for the families of those who serve their country. My father was one of the founding members after World War I with Mr. Lamb and Mr. Chapel. My first husband was killed in the war and um, I was left with a 10-month-old baby and a baby unborn. So I was a legacy wife, 21 at the time, and uh, uh, pretty floundering actually. The fact that I had legacy there was, well it was a family around me and a great comfort. So I think that I found legacy more of a blanket and something that I could feel warmth around me. A world without legacy would be, it would look bleak and it would be scary. It's a wonderful organisation, wonderful. The badge of legacy symbolises in its torch the undying flame of service and sacrifice handed to us by our comrades in war who have passed on. In its wreath of laurel, with its points inverted in remembrance, is the guerdon of honour that is the mead. The reward of honour that is the public gratitude of those who gave their lives for their country. Lest we forget. <laughs> <laughs>